Hey everybody, Zarcasm here. Welcome to another episode of Tech It. In the last episode, we uh, went on a journey for pumpkins. I don't know why that keeps going in my inventory. Went on a journey for pumpkins, finally found some. Um, what else did we do? I think we got into some dark matter a little bit, didn't we? Tried to, anyway. Unsuc unsuccessfully, really, but that's okay. In this episode, we're gonna kind of detour away from equivalent exchange and we're gonna get back into industrial craft we're gonna upgrade our power source even further um, right now we've got this geothermal generator which was upgraded from the generator um, from the coal power generator and it's been serving us well I mean it's I mean the the lava cells are pretty cheap to transmute um, and we don't really have that many machines going I mean we've got uh, We've got these furnaces here. They're overclocked a little bit. We could overclock them more. I actually plan to do that off screen since I've got all these coolant cells. Um, we've got our macerators. Got three of those. Got a compressor um, and an extractor. Go ahead and move that. <laughs> so, uh, oh yeah, that's just the. If you're wondering, that's just the empty chest that we got from the NPC village, just stowed away over there. Um, but in this episode, we're going to get into some more free energy because uh, we need to s we need to stop transmuting, basically. Um, whoop, darn! Thought we were good there. <laughs> so what we're going to build today, um, and what we really could have built a long time ago, but eh, we're going to build some solar panels, the industrial craft kind. We built these before. Uh, which is part of red power, but now what we want is this one. Um, so we're going to need some generators, going to need some circuits, going to need some glass, and going to need some coal dust. We're familiar with all those already. Um, got some coal macerating as we speak. Um, now, generator. I'm actually going to need more iron than I anticipated. <laughs> um... Let's get out there. Get some iron going. Cause we're you're gonna need that iron. All right, got a, got a full stack of coal dust there. Let's get our glass out because we'll need that. And uh, oh, let's not make that mistake. <laughs> Almost used all my coal. Not that it would have mattered, because I think there's coal in here. Yeah, there's coal in there. A lot of stuff in there, actually. Um. Okay. So, what uh, what you what you can do in the beginning of the game, instead of going down the path of a geothermal generator like I did. Once you get into like the bat box, you can either build um, wind turbines. Uh, I think they're just called windmills, or you can build solar panels. Um, I've talked about the winter, the wind, uh, bleh, the wind turbines before. How you know I personally didn't care for them myself, um, but the solar panels. They're okay. The basic solar panel is okay. I prefer the geothermal generator versus the solar panel. But I've recently learned, um, and I forgot your name again, Ninja something. I keep I'm horrible with names. Uh, that last guy, uh, Finner Strife, he's been pretty helpful. Um, he, I think he's commented almost the most actually. So just shout out to you for a lot of your equipment exchange tips. Um, and to everyone else that's been giving me tips on things I've missed, um, you know, hey, let's improve the series. Let's, you know, let's get her done. Let's do this. Um, so what I'm going to be going for, since I'm not, since I'm later in, later into tech it, I'm not going to be using the solar panels by themselves. I'm going to be using a low voltage solar array, and I'm going to want to build. Realistically, I want to build five of these, but they're very expensive, as you can see. Um, eight solar panels and a low-voltage transformer for just one array. Um, 
so yeah it it's pretty pricey but what I'll go ahead and do is I'll build at least one and just kind of show you um, and then I'll probably build the rest off screen and they will come in handy later um, so with the solar panels we got our we got our coal dust we got our glass we're gonna need I'm gonna start off building eight so I need 16 circuits are we doing on the old iron okay boom and I might as well just refine it straight away because <laughs> I need some machine blocks uh, not doing too good on the old iron that's okay alright uh, let's see one two what am I doing four more of these in here. Six. Okay, there's twelve. How much did I need? I needed eight, so I needed sixteen. Sixteen of these. Okay. Oops. Boom. Sixteen. Okay. Uh, 16, 24, my math's not that good today, 24, alright, there's 24, coal dust, uh, 24 once again, there we go, and finally the generator, 8 furnaces, which is a full stack of cobble, <clears throat> Go away. There we go. Eight furnaces. Uh, da, da, da. Eight machine blocks, which is what I don't really have enough for. And the batteries. Uh, ten. Get a thing of tin there. Oh, I can exchange these for iron ingots. Let's do that. There we go. We need eight machine blocks. Which is a full stack. So, go ahead and do that. Put those in there. Okay. Oh, and the battery. That's right. Battery. Um, need 16. Some wires. Actually needed another bit of wire. There we go. Batteries. Um, now, in case, in case you guys are wondering, uh, no one's no one's asked about this so far, but I just kind of wanted to show it off. Let me go ahead and get another battery here. What one thing you can do with the batteries is in a bat box or MFE, stick battery in the top, charge that battery on up, and then what you can do is you stick it in the bottom slot like a fuel. And, you know, it, that way if you're running out of power, you know. I don't know what it uses first. Let's find out. I don't know if it uses... Okay, it uses the battery first. So bear that in mind. Give me a cobble back. So it uses the battery first. Good to know. Good to know. Alright. Give me these. Now this is where the crafting table 3 would come in handy, I guess. I could skip a chain, but... Or a crafting table 2, perhaps. But Anyway. Get the solar panels. Alright, so we got our eight solar panels. Now you could just use the solar panels by themselves. 
um, but they, they're not really that efficient in producing power. So, I want the array, which produces, you would, I guess you would think an array would just produce eight solar panels worth of power. No, it produces quite a lot a bit more. So, I highly recommend just skipping solar panels altogether, going straight into an array, if you can do it. So, we need two wires, copper, and just some wood. Got the wires. Need some cap. And some wood. There we go. Um, was it like that? And a four. Yeah, there we go. So there's our transformer. And our low voltage array. Now we need a way to hook it up. The best way I recommend when it comes to solar panels is going to be a type of wire we have not gotten into. So let me go ahead and chop up some silver. And you might think this crazy. Let's get out a diamond. Some silver. Uh, two's all I need. Yoink. <clears throat> Alright, what we're going to make is some fiber optic cable. One diamond, two silver, surrounded by glass. Is your fiber optic. Actually going to need more than six. As you can see, pretty pricey. Um, yeah, pretty pricey. <laughs> so let's get a little bit more. Also, in case you guys are wondering, I have no idea what this does. The solar helmet. Um... I don't know if it just keeps, if it just charges things on you, like the jetpack or something. I don't know. Anybody knows what that does, let me know in the comments. Um, Alright, let's get some more fiber optic. Now, if you look up the recipe for the fiber optic, don't be deceived, because this, this is how it looks by default, where you use redstone instead. That only gets you four. If you use silver, that gets you six, so it's actually a better value, I think. To me, redstone's more valuable than silver, because you actually use redstone. Silver, you don't really use too much. All right, so we got 18. Should be enough for what we want to do. Um, let's see. Got some more coal, some more coal dusts. Almost out of glass, though. That's ah, all right. All right, let's sleep real quick. Then we'll uh, get to cracking. Okay, now how do we want to hook this up? Let's get down here. Let's see. No, we don't want to go that way. Nope, nope, nope. What if we go behind it? Ah, uh, that could start to be a problem. <laughs> okay. What mode is this in? Low focus. Okay, pretty cool. Oh, check it out. <laughs> awesome. That, that, that'll do... That will do nicely, actually. Um, right next to our <coughs> other solar panels. I like it. Okay. So, let's get out fiber optics. Um, <coughs> let's clear this a little bit. Two, 
three. Yeah, we want it right here. Okay. Let's get back inside. Well, let's let's do this first. What I like to do is what you would call a flower, I guess. Um, and ultimately, I would do this with five arrays, um, where I'd put one on on each side and then one at the top, like so. I should probably cut down this tree. Um, I'm gonna cut it down the easy way. <laughs> The easy way. <laughs> so, that'll help. Alright, got that tree we cut down. Let's cut down this one. The easy way. <laughs> oh, now stuff's like flipping out. Okay, so what I would do is if I had some more arrays, I'd have this one here and I'd put, you know, one, two, three, four. So we'd have five total. If you've seen my hardcore world tour, uh, you'll you'll see that setup. I've got five low voltage solar arrays, and it does me pretty nicely, I have to say. Okay, let's finish hooking up. The reason why I'm using the fiber optic cables is they're really good for. It sucks that you can't hover. It's really good for a distance. Good for carrying a voltage over over a high distance. That's why I'm using it. Um, there we go. Now what I'll do is... Oh, come back. And you can actually break these. It's not like glass glass. You can, you can still use them if you break them. Alright, so now got our got our one array hooked up. Stick our jetpack in there. And I think even just the one array will keep things charged pretty well. Let's check it out. Oop, got stuff in there. And yeah, not too bad. If we had five arrays, uh, this would be pretty, pretty good, pretty good. But uh, but anyway, so that's the that's the solar panels getting into solar arrays. I recommend starting. I recommend just skipping these altogether and starting with five low voltage solar arrays. And as you go, if you really need more power, upgrade to medium voltage. Uh, to high voltage, <laughs> uh, which I, I actually haven't done, so I'm looking forward to doing that, um, either in this Let's Play or maybe in the two-hour ticket special, if we get that far. But until then, I'm Zargasm, and I'm just going to patch up the floor here. <laughs> And yeah, I will see you guys next time. Oh, my jetpack sound doesn't seem to work anymore. Alright. Bombs away! <laughs> Looks like you right click on it twice. <laughs> That's cool. I like that. <laughs>